Hey everybody, it's Gamerogi. We're back with Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Last time we took out the Baroth and its scary, creepy looking ridge of mud coverage. And, uh, and then we also did some golden fish fishing that I kind of skipped a long time ago. <laughs> so now our level 1 quests are all done. And uh, also our level 2. Got checks on both of these. So there's just like one level 3 where I have to get a couple eggs. I might put that off for now. Um, but I do want to show you guys that because the egg cl the egg quests are kind of unique and... They're kind of, uh, kind of trollish, too. So, that's kind of why I want to skip it right now. <laughs> anyway, I guess the goal for today is to hunt this gobel thing. In the flooded forest. It's hard to say exactly what happened. The fog was just so thick. I remember a flash and then the ship cracked open. We lost every head of cattle. The culprit must still be out there. Mind taking a look? Hmm. We can. Actually, I just remembered something. There's actually a really funny, sneaky gimmick we can use on this thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off, but... Um, we can actually fish this thing out of the water with a frog. <laughs> I know, it sounds kind of ridiculous. It's a very big, scary anglerfish, and... Uh, Apparently we can just fish it out of the water. <laughs> I hope I, I can do this, but we may not be able to since it's a, a story quest and we gotta see the intro cutscene and all that stuff. We we shall see, we shall see. Hunter Gobel. It's not about winning or losing, it's about whether you keep all your limbs. I really hope I do. Actually, hang on. Monster list. Gobel, Gobel. There we go. Monsters with strong camouflage skills and powerful neurotoxins. Poor swimmers. Gobel conceal themselves and then lure prey by imitating plants with their barbels. They can reported, reportedly swallow Epioth whole and are known to love frogs. Mm hmm. There you go. There's the frog hint. <laughs> okay. Powerful neurotoxins. I wonder if he's going to be weak against lightning. I really hope so. He is a fish. So. Let's find out what it is I need to do uh, with the food here. Let's just do something random here. Uh, swimmer. Ooh, that might be good. Slow stamina depletion in water. Decrease stamina depletion when fleeing from large monsters. You can have Fire Starter, Thundercaller, and Icebreaker all at the same time. Oh. Huh. Let's just... Let's just get Swimmer. Sure. Oh, goody! Stamina oxygen increase. Man. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good for this. Ready, Cha Cha? I don't know if I am. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Spooky flooded forest at nighttime. Uh, easy Sonic Bomb. Might be able to use that. It tends to uh, burrow under the sand in the water. So if we use that, we could probably bring it out of the out of the sand. I don't think we're gonna need oxygen supply. Okay, let's go. Uh, you know what? Shortcut. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, on second thought, maybe not. Let's go this way. Gobble, you better not gobble me. That is all I am saying. Uh, let's go this way. I think I want to be in four... Or, I don't know. It could be in 
three, five, six, four, I don't know, any one of those. <laughs> Is this the one I was thinking of? So it imitates plants. This is where I fished it out before when I was playing with Matt. Um, but let me just double check to see if it's in the water here. So you see these uh, these plants over here? I think this is kind of what it looks like. But it, it should have bubbles coming up. If it's actually here. It's a creepy thing. It's very creepy. It's clearly not here. Okay. <laughs> I'm done picking plants. <laughs> Let's check out five. Hello? Gobble! Gobble, gobble! Hmm. I'm pretty sure bubbles should be coming up. Pretty sure. Wow, I can swim a long time. Oh, here we go. It's a vacuum cleaner of death! This thing is so scary. Terrifying beast. Uh oh. He may have spotted me. Oh, there he is. Pop on up, Gobel. No! Don't get caught in its suction. He also does spike ball. I have to learn my underwater combos again. <laughs> Whoa. Look out, Chasha! This thing is crazy, man! This is a good time for a sonic bump, actually. If I can find it. Break his little thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No! Cha cha! Look out, man! Hello! <laughs> he reminds me of Lord Wu Fak Fak from Banjo 2. Ow. Man, these, <laughs> these, um, what are these called again? I forgot what those are called. Those aren't Aptonoth, right? Whatever they are, they, they're taking a beating. Whoa. Ah, he rolls. He does the Pikmin roll, man. Alright, here we go. Watch this. Oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> Owie! That's not good at all! Drink it up, drink it up, yum yum! He gave me water blight. Oh boy. Not a good swimmer, huh? Good at, it's good at being a jerk, that's for sure. Uh, 
Whoa. Out of the way, guys. different fighting in the water. Uh oh. Look out! That thing can stun you. Oh, there he goes again. I think as long as you're dodging during that, you're okay. But yeah, that, that can definitely stun you. Cha-cha. Is he leaving? I feel like I haven't gotten a whole lot of hits off. Hopefully he moves to four and gets on land. <laughs> Sometimes fighting in the water is, is not easy. Especially when they're a lot better at handling water than you are. Whoa! Oh look, his little whiskers look just like the plant. Get wrecked. I think I may have made him mad. Oh man. Look out! Moving right when I want to smack him. Ow. Cha cha, help! He's mad! I don't even know what I was trying to do there. <laughs> He'll just peek his head up and, and let me do my final hit on him. Sure. Right in the barbel. Right in the barbel. <laughs> His roll. It's really funny. Okay, look out, Cha Cha. He moves faster under the ground than he does in the water. If I can ever hit him with a sonic bomb. Oh! <laughs> okay, Gobel. Okay. Whoa! He's actually going to four. Here we go. Land Gobel? Land Gobel? It'd be awfully noble of you if you were a Land Gobel. Oh God. <laughs> the music when you fight this thing is so... creepy too. Hi. Mm 
It's pretty good at those lurching charges. Yeah, throw your little boomerang. Just keep on slack. Finally a combo, finally! That was gonna work. Man, target cam is actually really helpful in the water. <laughs> right in the belly. You beast! Boo. Don't be right above him. He's got a he's got a, a knack for jumping up. Right below you. Ow. Okay, Cha Cha. He clearly doesn't want to be a land global. Does. Here he goes. I think we can break his tail and his little, like, barble light thing. Oh, he just went to the next area to go in more water. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. It's like a giant catfish, anglerfish. Spike ball of death. Blast you, Gobble! Ow. Boost. Thanks, man. Oh my god. Oops. Too close to the edge. Too close. Let's just uh, lead him away a little bit. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, he's limping. He's limping. He's a limp noodle. Kill him. Kill him, Cha Cha. He's too fast. He's way too fast for me. Oh. Didn't I mark him with a paintball? Maybe it wore off. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to find him again. Well then. Okay. The search begins. He might have gone back to six. But we'll check five too. And four. Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. The size of this fish right here. Eh, that's not him, that's not him. Gobble. Hmm. 
Maybe I should have saved the sonic bombs for when this part happened. When he goes back to rest. Under the ground somewhere. Is he even here? Uh oh. Maybe he went into this cave. Aha! There he is. Out of the way, Ludroth. I've got a demon to slaughter. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Out of the way, Ludroth. Do you not see the enormous gobel trying to gobble you? break his little Delio or his tail, but it's fine. <laughs> At least he's dead. That's a crazy beast. Crazy beast. Please stop doing that. Can't you see I'm trying to poke his corpse here? Pokey poke. There we go. Okay, now you may smack it. Look at the size of that gob. You could fit a Volkswagen in there. <laughs> His little eyeballs. Just like Lord Wufek Vec. My precious eyes! What have you done to my precious eyes? It's pretty hard to hit his little uh, barbel, actually, since he's moving around all the time. It's a pretty small target, too. Hide, spike, whisker, whisker, fin. Nice. Some pretty good stuff. Abyssal assassin. And giant underwater vacuum cleaner. Hello. Hello, hunter. Yuko... Yoku Kita. You hunt well, we trade well, yes? You just in time, another carrier pigeon arrive. Saying another land want to trade with you for Moga commodities. This one called Wivurian Hub. Their trade goods very special, hard to come by anywhere else. Tokubetsu. Maybe you want to hear a little secret about Wivurian Hub? Sure. Soko Nakucha, listen well. I too am Wivurian. Surprised? My family, they wait in Wivirian Hub for my gallant return. You make our Gozi captain very happy if you send home. I make sure to bring back items to Max Hunting Fleet's power. But for now, show me commodities, yes? We trade! What you got? Anything new for me? Whoa! Hog in a frog. Decks out your pet in style. A cute tadpole tail will turn heads and warm hearts. <laughs> Sleepy sheepy. Lots of, lots of pig costumes. A waka waka dance. Ooh, a new dance for Cha-Cha. Mmm. Treasure tracker. Improves hunting fleet's catch when seeking treasure. Less effective otherwise. Mmm, yeah. Improves hunting fleet's catch when hunting. Token combos five. I think I already have this, actually. I do. 
Uh, oceanic fountain. Furnishing fashioned after a Legiacris. Its trickling water calms the soul. Furnishing made from Kelby horn. Charming. Just don't poke your eye out. He'll shoot your eye out, kid. Okay, I'm thinking this Waka Waka dance sounds pretty delightful. Um, Royal Ludroth and Legiacris produced this. And this I got from Akura Peko. I think I'm gonna maybe do one of these. Give me the new Waka Waka dance. Documents Pocky Dance and Trance's mind and body. What else does he have? Busy bees. Fertilizer for honey box. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Demon drug armor skin. Armor sphere plus. Nice. Nope, I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, visit it, sure. Uh, maybe not this one. You can probably pass that. Ooh, shortens by two days. Jeez. Second thought, you can go to all three. And we'll give you that one. <laughs> Cool. Ooh, lots of people to talk to. Hey, I have a new request for you. I think you're gonna like this one. Tell me, what would you like more than anything? Don't answer. I know you want to increase the shroom box's capacity. Lucky you, so do the farmers. Mushrooms work so well in stews and salads. Not to mention the nutritional benefits. I've made a list of everything we need. I know you're busy hunting, but think of all the fungi you'll have. <laughs> All the fungi I'll have. Super shroom box. I need shro shroom germ plus. Three of them. Oh, man. Lots of resources, too. The orders are in. The orders are in. It's an unprecedented honey boom. Those poor city slackers are shellacking the stuff on bread. Raw meat. You name it. Slim fat diet is a phenomenon. Phenomenon. People have figured out that genuine moga honey has more calories than other kinds. It's because we make it with love. In their rush to look like fat cats, folks are spending so much money on our honey that they'll never end up rich. Ironic, don't you think? Anyway, we're way behind the honey production. Uh... So the farmer and I have made a decision. We're going to boost honey production, and we need you to collect the materials and resources naturally. Made a list of everything we need. Think you could do us a favor and track this stuff down at some point? Maybe. Oh god. Hey, busy bees. Speaking of. I wonder where you get those normally. I haven't seen those yet. Oh my gosh. Oh hey, I've got a favor to ask. Not two days ago, the itinerant cook came sniffing around for some extra nice pieces of fish. Naturally, being an ex-angler and all, I told him I was the man for the job. Trouble is, my fishing rod is a little on the flimsy side. I can only handle your everyday kinds of fish. So I figured I'd make the ultimate fishing rod for this job. If I catch a big one, I'll toss you some of the tastiest chum, old chum. I made a list of everything we need. Try to take some time out of your busy hunting schedule to get this stuff. Holy moly. A gobble whisker. You're lucky. I have some. And three frogs. <laughs> nice. I just need the resources. Man, I need like 2,000 of them now. You people are taking too many resources. There you are. I've been praying you'd stop by. I had a business breakthrough recently. I finally found a reasonable supplier for the oh-so-useful pellet small level 3. Now you don't have to skimp on the heavy firepower. Oh, just thinking about you using it makes me woozy. Heh, <laughs> a little. 
I've gotten more than a few other n new items as well. Some might seem a little es esoteric, but trust me, you want them. Browse my wares for as long as you like. Seriously, stay a while. Stay forever! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> She's crazy. This woman is crazy. <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. What else? She's got a lot of a lot of bullets. Actually, bought a lot of this stuff. Okay, cool. Hot and cool drinks. Did she have both those before? It's pretty handy. Okay, hello, cook. Seems the village's future is looking much brighter, we. Trace bien ya. Uh, effective mint. I am able to stock more meownific ingredients than ever. Oh ho! I am now offering higher level grain ingredients to my best customers. Talk about the cat's meow. With higher level ingredients, the dishes increase health even more. It's the highest in Haute cuisine. Ooh. Wonderful. Hey there. Nice work on the gobel hunt. It's trickier than your average water dweller. I figured a funky monster like that would give you, even you a hard time. Hmm? How do I know gobel are trickier than your average water dweller? Well, geez, everybody at the guild knows that. Your skin changes color and they hide down deep and can paralyze you. I could have mentioned that earlier, huh? Well, hindsight is twenty twenty. Let's just focus on the future, shall we? She knew all this stuff before. <laughs> My heartfelt letter of recommendation got through to the guild. You've been okayed to move to a new region. A land so cold even time is frozen. The tundra. Hmm? Wondering about what sort of place it is, other than really dangerous? According to my crystal ball, reply hazy, try again. Uh, that's close enough to good. So whatever quest you do, good luck will follow. I could be wrong, but I could be right. Trust me. Or flip a zenny. Same difference. <laughs> oh my. We can go to the tundra. Nice. Harvest tour. Let's me just uh, pick up items there without being attacked by things. A bear off and a great jaggy in the same hunt. Oh boy. <laughs> A Legombi. Great Baggy. Hmm. Slay 20 Baggy with danger. Probably a Great Baggy will show up. Yep. Deliver 8 Bloodstones. Okay. You sound doable. Lots of new, new monsters, it looks like. Great Baggy, Legombi. And the baggy that were probably just... They're probably just like normal jaggy, but they're blue and stronger. <laughs> I think they have some other power, too. They might have ice power. I don't really know. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll take on some of that stuff uh, next time, guys. So, uh, see you then. Toodles!